The first major update of 2024 is only four days away. Uh. It's about damn time. And that update is V28.10. We haven't seen a proper update now since Winterfest, and we never saw the 15th free present either. Can't do that. The storyline is taking huge twists here in Fortnite and we will take you through every step of the way. As well as this, we have new leaks regarding Season 2 and a free skin you may have received inside of Fortnite. You aren't going to want to miss today's video. Because it's iconic. Guys, here on the channel we like to bring you daily content related to all the latest news, leaks, information, skins, everything you need to know about Fortnite. So make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned all the way until the end of today's video because you're not going to want to miss a single part of it. Also here on the channel we like to gift our subscribers every single day. If you don't want to receive a gift and are just here for all that juicy information, that is perfectly fine. Go ahead and skip to the time on screen right now and that will take you to all that juicy information that we have for you guys today. But if you do want to receive a gift or all you need to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, comment your epic ID down below and make sure to go ahead and add me on epic. Also guys, one rule, when you do get accepted to receive these gifts, please do not spam me with invites. Anyone spam with invites will have to be removed, therefore cannot receive a gift. And with that being said, let's get into all the juicy information that we've got for you guys today. So currently inside of Fortnite guys, some people are actually receiving a free skin from Fortnite and Sheena tweeted this here. Apparently some people got the Psycho Bandit Borderlands skin out of nowhere for some reason. I didn't find a lot of information related to this, but it looks like people who got the skin pre-ordered Borderlands 3 on the Epic Store in the past. Now guys, this is a pretty cool skin, I'm not going to lie. And if we look at the actual picture from this, it says one of your recent Epic Games purchases includes a special Fortnite reward. Thank you, drop in and have fun. So this looks like if you've actually pre-ordered Borderlands 3 on the Epic Store. Obviously the accounts are linked and you've received this skin for free inside of Fortnite. If you're one of these people that's received this let me know down below because this skin does look pretty cool and it's definitely a cool skin to have but guys i know all of you are here for that one reason and you all want to know about v28.10 and v28.10 has obviously now been added to the staging servers and we are expecting to see this on tuesday which is just four days away as well as this here are the most likely release dates for the remaining updates of this season obviously we have the v28.10 update on january the 23rd v28.2 on february the 6th v28.3 on february the 20th and chat 5 season 2 on march 8th now guys it's been such a long time now since we actually saw an update here in fortnite my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined and i'm not gonna lie stuff has started to get a little bit stale we've had a few different little hotfix updates such as the crash pad being added the item shop time being removed and some new weapons come in and obviously winterfest stuff getting removed we've not really had a proper update for such a long time now and we should be going back to getting these updates every two weeks so in this v28.10 update we're going to be seeing tons of new things and we're going to be taking a look at this in just a second for you but before we do take a look at this i just want to say a huge thank you for all the support here on the channel i can't thank you guys enough for all of this it really really is appreciated anyone liking commenting subscribing sharing i see it all guys and i can't thank you enough for this whoever you are thank you and as part of a thank you what i'm going to be doing is giving away some free skins for you guys so if you want to receive one of these free skins inside of the game make sure to just drop a like on the video subscribe and comment your epic down below and i want to gift someone more of you guys obviously the more support the more growth on the channel the more gifts i can give out to you guys so i really do appreciate it and with that being said let's get back into that chapter five season two updates that we're going to be looking at inside of this video so starting off guys we are expecting to see these new creative updates in quarter one of 2020 24. Could we be seeing this in V28.1? Who knows, but it's definitely going to be coming soon. And that is the new menu UI, square thumbnails, analytics device, verse persistence, and custom NPCs. Now, I don't really use creative much. I'm not good with this. I know a lot of guys are really, really good at creating these maps. And we've seen a lot of backlash recently about a lot of these maps, obviously, in creative, either being racist, offensive, or just downright, just they shouldn't be inside the game. And Epic are doing something inside of this now to actually get rid of some of these maps. I saw a lot of creators complaining, saying that their maps are taking so long 
to get approved and then stuff's just basically being said oh no we can't approve this and then you've got stuff that's actually got racism in the titles offensive like thumbnails and it's just overall shouldn't be on there getting approved and it just doesn't make sense so obviously a lot of these creative maps are actually free plus and it really doesn't make sense but hopefully this is all going to be sorted now and epic are actually doing something about this one of the main things we were hoping to see more of in obviously this new update v28.1 is the disappearance of peely now the peely went missing during the live event that took us over in chat 5 and he has been kidnapped and these posters have started to appear around the map now obviously saying that peely is missing and we don't know where he is obviously we've seen different things we've seen different loading screens which have got peely trapped with oscar inside of lavish layer which doesn't really make sense because if you go to this location now the chair is there but peely is not there so peely seems like he's moving around the map in these different areas and obviously being kidnapped and it just doesn't really make sense what is actually happening it's pretty pretty cool though and it's definitely going to be a big part of the storyline and i feel like v28.1 is going to unveil a lot more of this as well as this during this section we've been seeing stuff at these train stations all along with the map of the actual fortnite map itself with what the train route is now if you look at these train route maps and compare it to an actual fortnite map there's a much less snow on this map itself now we obviously know we got the start of chapter 5 during winterfest so there's a lot more snow around the map which makes a lot more sense obviously it's a winter season etc etc so during v28.1 we're expecting to start seeing this snow melting unveiling some more areas around the map now there's different theories in different what areas that could be happening here could we be seeing actual hidden pois that have been currently frozen underneath the snow one of these being atlantis is one of the crazy theories that i've seen and definitely with the fact we're going into a greek mythology season this would actually tie in there quite nicely but could we actually see peely frozen underneath the ice somewhere as he's been kidnapped obviously and he could actually be frozen underneath this we've just got to wait and see what happens hopefully we get some more clarification during this new update because i know it's going to be pretty pretty cool and fortnite definitely do some cool stuff when it comes to these map changes as well as obviously the missing peeler poster we do have this poster over at ruin reels as well now this poster is more tied into obviously chapter 5 season 2 that being a greek season we are expecting we already know that this season is going to be code codenamed Aga, and we have Aga z and Aga c as two confirmed bosses for this actual season 2 here in fortnite we already know that these are most likely going to be zeus and cerberus and we've seen a lightning spawn effect for one of these being probably zeus as the actual god itself now this poster states odyssey 6 coming soon now with this there's a few different things on this poster first of all we see this floating island now this could replicate rift island obviously we saw a different version of rift island during winterfest so they could quite easily change this in some greek monument for actually season two we then see this character which to me looks a little bit like jonesy could jones be on the hunt for peely we've got to wait and see in terms of that there but then we have the name odyssey 6 now the word odyssey i think this is what the chapter and the season is going to actually be called chapter 5 season 2 odyssey obviously codenamed Aga. i believe it's going to be code actually called odyssey and the word six this could be the six bosses that we're going to be seeing around the map therefore forming the odyssey six that is going to actually help get peely back from whoever's kidnapped him or even try and stop people from rescuing peely now this is just a crazy theory so let me know your theories down below i definitely think that it's going to be called odyssey and we're going to have these six bosses and there's definitely going to be some crazy stuff happening inside of this because we saw obviously a crazy crazy fault line in the past and it's uh just going to get even crazier to honest with you guys chat five is definitely nowhere near ended the storyline is going to be absolutely crazy we are still also waiting on seeing part two of this teenage mutant ninja turtles collab that we're expecting to see very very soon because it looked like it got scrapped but at the same time it could still happen we still need to see this area underneath the map and uh, the layer overall in general we've already seen actual footage of it so it makes sense to actually put this inside the game hopefully we're going to be seeing this soon so guys let me know your thoughts on all this down below that's been it for today's video if you are new around here please do subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace